in the tapestry of life, it's often the quiet moments that herald the greatest changes. C.S. Lewis, a profound thinker and storyteller, believed that God doesn't always call to us in the thunder, but whispers in the gentle breeze of our everyday experiences. As we embark on this exploration, let us seek the subtle signs that suggest God is about to change our story. Through the lens of Lewis's insights, we will uncover how these quiet awakenings can lead to profound transformations in our journey with the divine. In the midst of life's relentless march, where days meld into one another under the guise of routine, there lies a hidden invitation to awakening. It is not amidst the clamor of grand revelations that most of us find our turning points, but rather in the quiet corners of our existence, where the mundane meets the mystical. Lewis, with his characteristic blend of wit and wisdom, might suggest that God often chooses the whisper over the whirlwind to capture our attention, to stir the depths of our souls. Consider the gentle nudge of a persistent thought, the recurring echo of a dream not yet fully understood, or the quiet discontent that whispers of realms beyond our grasp. These are not mere figments of our imagination, but are, perhaps, the first threads of a divine tapestry being woven into the fabric of our lives. Lewis would likely argue that our most profound awakenings often arise from the simplest of moments. A sunrise that stirs an unspoken yearning, a line from a book that echoes long in our thoughts, or a conversation that leaves our spirit restless for something more. Awakening, in the Luisian sense, is the dawning realization that the world we see is but a shadow of a more substantial reality that beckons us. It is the initial stirring of the heart that hints at our role in a grander narrative, a story authored by God himself. This awakening does not shout from the rooftops, but instead whispers in the silence of our being, inviting us to embark on a journey of discovery and transformation. As we heed these subtle signs, we begin to see our lives not as a series of random events, but as a carefully orchestrated symphony composed by the divine maestro. Each note, each rest, plays a crucial part in the unfolding melody of our existence. The nature of this awakening is not a sudden enlightenment, but a gradual unveiling, where the scales fall from our eyes, and we are invited to see the world, ourselves, and our God in a new light. In embracing these quiet awakenings, we open ourselves to the possibility of change, to the divine plot twists that God weaves into our stories. For it is often in the gentle whisper of God's voice that we find the courage to let go of our old selves and step into the new roles He has written for us in His grand, cosmic play. C.S. Lewis once remarked, Hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. It's a poignant reminder that our trials, though fraught with discomfort, are not mere obstacles, but crucibles for growth and change. In the shadow of suffering, we find not only the harshness of life, but also the potential for divine transformation. Lewis understood suffering as a megaphone that God uses to rouse a deaf world. It's in our moments of pain and adversity that we are often most receptive to change, most aware of our own fragility, and most open to seeking something beyond ourselves. This receptivity can become the fertile ground from which a new chapter of our story, penned by God, begins to emerge. Consider the biblical story of Joseph, who endured betrayal, slavery, and imprisonment, only to rise to a position where he could save nations from famine. His trials were not mere episodes of misfortune, but integral parts of a larger narrative that God was writing. Like Joseph, we may find that our deepest struggles are not detours, but essential pathways to the destiny God has for us. In facing our challenges, we are invited not to despair, but to persevere with the understanding that our current trials may be the very tools God uses to shape us into the characters we need to become for the next scene in our life story. It is through our suffering that we often gain the wisdom, strength, and empathy necessary to embrace the roles God has designed for us. Suffering, then, can be seen as a sign that God is actively working in our lives, pruning us to bear more fruit, as a gardener tends to his plants. 
The pain of the pruning process is real, but so is the growth that follows. By embracing our hardships with faith and courage, we allow God to transform our trials into triumphs, our pain into purpose. C.S. Lewis famously posited, If I find in myself desires which nothing in this world can satisfy, the only logical explanation is that I was made for another world. This profound insight lays the foundation for our third topic, the recognition of our deep, unfulfilled longings as signs that we are destined for something greater, something beyond the mere physical realm. Lewis believed that our most profound desires, those that material pleasures cannot quench, are not merely whims of the human condition, but echoes of our true home calling to us. These unmet desires, these whispers of something more, serve as indicators that our stories are meant to transcend the confines of this world, pointing towards an eternal narrative crafted by the divine. When we experience moments of unexplained yearning, when beauty, love, or a sense of wonder stir within us an insatiable hunger, we are feeling the pull of eternity on our hearts. These are not moments to be dismissed as fleeting emotions, but to be acknowledged as signs of our participation in a larger, divine story. This longing for more is a beacon, guiding us through the fog of routine and the ephemeral, towards the shores of a deeper spiritual truth. It invites us to explore the possibility that the restlessness we feel is a divine discontent, planted within us to lead us back to God, the source of all fulfillment. In our journey with God, these echoes of eternity are calls to action, urging us to seek out our place in God's grand narrative. They remind us that we are not merely players on a worldly stage, but eternal souls fashioned for an everlasting kingdom. As we attune our hearts to these divine whispers, we open ourselves to the transformative work God wishes to do in and through us. We begin to see our lives not as a series of unconnected events, but as a pilgrimage towards a divine horizon, where every longing finds its fulfillment and every desire points us back to our Creator. C.S. Lewis had a knack for recognizing the divine in the ordinary, often suggesting that what we perceive as mere coincidences are, in fact, the quiet workings of God in our lives. He famously quipped, Coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous, hinting at the subtle manner in which the divine orchestration unfolds around us. This topic delves into the concept of providence and happy coincidences, exploring how these unexpected encounters and seemingly random events might actually be signposts that God is actively involved in our narrative, gently steering us toward His intended plot twists. Consider the serendipitous meetings that alter the course of our lives, the unforeseen opportunities that arise just when we need them, or the inexplicable timing of events that, in hindsight, fit together too perfectly to be mere chance. These moments, often overlooked or dismissed as luck, may very well be the brushstrokes of God on the canvas of our existence. Lewis would argue that these coincidences are not random at all, but are imbued with purpose, meticulously woven into the fabric of our lives by a loving Creator. They serve as reminders that our stories are not solitary tales, but part of a grand, interconnected narrative, where every character, every event, plays a role in the unfolding divine drama. In recognizing these divine fingerprints in our lives, we're invited to look beyond the surface, to perceive the deeper connections and the guiding hand of God in our journey. This perspective encourages us to trust in the flow of our lives, to remain open to the unexpected, and to find comfort in the knowledge that, even in the chaos, there is a hidden order, a divine plot, that we are part of. By embracing the providential nature of these happy coincidences, we allow ourselves to be more attuned to the possibilities that God lays before us, to be more willing to follow the leads He provides, and to be more aware of the continuous dialogue between our desires and His will. Drawing upon the deep well of C.S. Lewis's thought, our fifth topic explores the transformative power of trust in God, especially during times of uncertainty and change. Lewis often spoke of faith as a journey through shadowed valleys and sunlit peaks, with trust in God serving as our guiding light. 
In the midst of life's tumult, a profound peace can envelop us, a quietude that defies the chaos of our circumstances. This peace, Lewis might argue, is a tangible sign of God's presence and a reminder of His promise to lead us through the storms. It's in the stillness of our hearts, in the quiet trust in God's sovereignty, that we often find the strength to endure and the courage to embrace the unfolding chapters of our story. This tranquility is not born from an absence of trouble, but from an abiding confidence in the one who holds our days in his hands. It's a peace that, as Lewis would say, passes all understanding, a serene assurance that, no matter how the plot twists, the author of our faith is with us, guiding each step. Embracing this quietude of trust involves surrendering our need for control, releasing our grip on the pen with which we try to write our own stories. It means finding rest in the knowledge that, though we may not understand each turn of the page, there is a purpose in every line, a reason for every pause. In this posture of trust, we open ourselves to the transformative work God desires to do within us. We allow Him to pen His will in our lives, leading us not only to a place of peace amidst the storm, but also to a deeper relationship with Him. It's here, in the quietude of trust, that we are truly prepared for the changes God is weaving into our narrative. In the spirit of C.S. Lewis, we've journeyed through the landscapes of awakening, suffering, longing, providence, and trust, each path revealing signs that God is at work, reshaping our story. Lewis, with his profound understanding of the human and divine narrative, reminds us that our lives are not mere collections of random events, but integral chapters in a grander story authored by God. As we reflect on the signs of God's transformative work in our lives, the quiet awakenings, the purpose within suffering, the unquenchable longings, the serendipitous encounters, and the peace that comes from trust, we are invited to see ourselves as characters in a divine play, with roles to play and lines to speak that contribute to the unfolding of God's great narrative. This journey of discovery does not end here. It continues each day, with every heartbeat and breath, as we live out the story God is writing for us. We are called not just to be passive observers, but active participants, co-creators with God, in the ongoing creation of our lives and the world around us. Let us then embrace our part in this grand narrative with courage and hope, trusting in the author who knows the end from the beginning. May we be attentive to the subtle signs of his guidance, open to the transformative power of his pen, and ready to step into the new chapters he is crafting for us. In the words of Lewis, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. As we move forward, may we carry this assurance in our hearts, looking to the future with anticipation for the wondrous story God continues to write in and through us.